It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we're here for the Survivor's Beginners Let's Play. So this is going to be episode 11 in our Let's Play series and guys, it has been a while since I've made a video. I think it's been about 7 days since I recorded my last video and actually played World's Domination because I was in Europe for 7 days. Wonderful trip, it was awesome, but I didn't get to play or upload or anything. So I had a lot of pre-upload stuff for you guys. I'm a little sleeper deprived, I'm a little out of it, and I'm a little rusty. So I'm going to have to kind of get back into it. But I'm feeling pretty good. The strategy's kind of coming back to me. Everything's just getting back to normal because today was the first like kind of time I just got back into it. It's been a while, guys. Uh, some of you guys may have seen that vlog that I put up really shortly, but I actually deleted it. So problems when you're sleep deprived. But yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of trying a new little uh, video setup just for this one episode, just for fun. See how it works. Uh, see what you guys think. Nothing crazy. Just trying out for fun. But yeah, I'm going to start working on kind of revamping some of the art, kind of refining, nothing crazy, no big changes, just little refinements, adding a couple things here and there. I'm excited to kind of keep refining the channel and whatnot because we're growing. We're growing fast. We've got a whole lot of new subscribers. Welcome to the nation, guys. Welcome to the family. Glad to have you guys here, and let's just go get to it. This is episode 11. We are on day five of Cairo, as you can see here, and we got some grinding to do, guys. So let's go ahead and click fight here. This is I'm rolling with the usual team here. I'm going to change my borrow unit to the... Let's go with the fire chief here. So this is my basic team. I've been using this a lot for a lot of these levels here, guys. And it's been very successful for me. It's been doing great work for me. I have had no complaints whatsoever. Now, Cairo in denial. Now, this has an interesting, very interesting kind of zombie loadout that's coming, coming at us. Now, we're running into a lot of foremen and these assassins we got here. Now, these foremen are great at breaking through these walls. They will break through those walls within one to two hits maybe even one they are very powerful so what you have to do is really kind of keep them subdued for as long as possible now on this first wave here i'm going to use my classic lumberjack combat medic now this is going to pretty much this pretty much does the best work for me personally i personally really enjoy that setup and i'm also going to be throwing a machine gunner with them kind of a little bit of a pairing we could say i'm gonna go ahead and send them up here the machine gunner is going to go running on back there and I'm actually going to go put over this pad over here and throw down my sniper to help kind of subdue those foremen and things like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start looking ahead to some of these other waves, these other waves and spawning pads. And it looks like we have two more pads to defend from here on out. So what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to put down all of these guys. I'm hoping this is going to be the first pad or wave to come. And then the next one, I'll put these guys down over here. So this firefighter is going to hopefully hold down the fort for as long as possible. And we'll have all these guys on cooldown rolling. So I normally like to save a lot of my units until the last second so I can kind of kind of decide what waves are coming first and things like that but in this case i'm just kind of going for it so i did actually choose the right pad here so i kind of fortified that one area very well so over here as you can see lumberjack's going to work combat medic is keeping him alive and my machine gunner just kind of saving the day back here so we're doing very well on this and i really don't I'm not that worried as long as that combat medic can keep my lumberjack up and alive we will be doing very good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and throw down my extra fire chief there that is my borrowed guild troop and yeah we're just gonna keep on cruising so <clears throat> let me go ahead and start hmm what I want to do here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and throw down a combat medic over there. And I'm going to start kind of fortifying this other pad over here. Because we're going to start getting that wave there. You see it right there. So I'm going to wait on that pad over there just for a moment here. I'm going to stim up this crew over here and throw down an extra sniper. And I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and send it. Because the combat medic ended up healing everybody up. So I don't really know how this uh, iPhone look is going to be working. I'm going to be honest. I'm just trying it for the first time here. And it's pretty interesting. So while we're going to be finishing up this... Uh, map here so we're actually doing very well here guys we're very well defended as you can see we're doing some pretty solid work here combat medics keeping those lumberjacks alive um i want to talk about some other stuff um streaming i'm going to start start saying my, my twitch stream and everything like that i've seen a lot of you guys have actually followed me so that's actually really cool so i'm gonna start uh, kind of setting that all up getting everything ready and get rid from some streams i know that'd be really fun to do some streams with you guys live streams always enjoy that kind of stuff i've done it in the past once or twice i had a ton of fun with it so i'm excited to get that set up again and yeah pretty solid stuff here we got an uncommon unit actually coins here 10 coins not too shabby so yeah i'm gonna just kind of set up my twitch stream and i'll kind of let you guys know what i'm gonna be twitch streaming i'm probably gonna try to do them on weekends and we will see let's go ahead and go to day two here on cairo but yeah guys i'm gonna continue kind of revamp i'm gonna start setting more stuff up as we go i'm excited to get that going because we have a ton of stuff kind of coming up in the next couple months i'm excited a lot of new refinements a lot of new videos everything it's gonna be awesome guys new updates for world domination new units new 
everything it's gonna be awesome android beta is gonna be ending soon we're gonna be going to global launch for all those android players out there i know a lot of you guys have been asking about that that is gonna be in the next couple weeks here we are just around the corner here so let me go ahead and start kind of setting up this area here so i'm gonna go ahead and set up this pad here and i'm gonna be throwing down my my usual i'm gonna be putting down the combat medic and the lumberjack and i'm actually gonna throw down another hmm how do i want to do this so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna throw down my lumber my machine gunner here my sniper here my desperado there and a scatter shot there. Now I'm really, really, really packing it in on these waves here because two of those pads are very close to each other. As you can see, pad here, the first wave that's gonna be coming out, and this one pad over here, very close to these walls. So I really want to fortify this area because we're gonna be hitting, we're gonna be gonna be hit with a lot of firepower here. So let's go ahead and start the waves. Let's go ahead and send this first wave off here, and we should be able to hand this one very, very easily because we have a ton of units focusing in on this area whole lot of firepower here combat medics going in to help kind of save the day on the lumberjack here machine gunner just starts packing in the punches here and we're about to be good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and send this next wave here now these guys are gonna be coming pretty strong at this wall here so as you can see that foreman's about to kind of break through that wall here he's gonna use a couple punches here and he's gonna kind of power through that wall if we can just take him down right before as you can see one punch and it goes down instantly i'm gonna go ahead and move this pad over here a little bit now as you can see we're getting a whole lot of action over here so i'm gonna go ahead and throw down some extra support gunners here we're gonna throw down all sorts of stuff down here to kind of save the day and we are still doing pretty darn well i'm gonna throw down another lumberjack and command combat medic excuse me guys so we are very well fortified on these two areas because we're gonna have two waves coming in at us at once so it's gonna be pretty hectic and let me go ahead and throw down a sniper over here and kind of move them out just a little bit Let's go ahead and send these waves. And so as you can see, the Lumberjack or a some sort of melee unit is really key for this level because it's going to keep you guys alive from those. Um, it's going to kind of take the bulk of the punches from those assassins because if those assassins get too close to your units, guys, they are going to wipe them out instantly and it's going to be game over. It's going to make it really, really difficult for you guys. So really definitely kind of focus on having at least one melee unit and some type of medic to keep that guy alive because if you don't do that, those assassins are going to wipe out all of your pads and it's just going to make your attack really difficult. So it's going to continue here and get to day three and then we will kind of move on to the finale here So I believe we're gonna get an uncommon pack here very soon and we'll go ahead and open that near the end of the episode Actually, let's have it. Let's go ahead and open it now. Let's go ahead and open up that uncommon pack Hopefully we get some good. Let's go ahead and tap it up. What do we got? <coughs> <coughs> so we got a bunch of common units here Nothing too exciting. Got a gunfighter paramedic paramedic gunfighter and the uncommon unit is a handyman So nothing exciting out of that pack guys Let's go ahead and continue here and move on to day three I believe and well for us at least we're gonna move it on to the third day here fight and we have one more day I believe until our team is completely wiped out guys and I'm gonna go ahead and bring along this gunslinger I love my gunfighters love my gunslingers love my scatter shots I really like these gunner units. They're really helpful for me, but I also love the lumberjack I'm excited to get a timber beast going Gotta love them Timber Beast guys. They are probably, they're working their way up my favorite units list. I've got to admit, guys. So let's go ahead and set up this usual area here. But this time we're going to change it up a bit. I'm going to be throwing down a bulk of gunner units right here. This is going to be a very heavy gunner area right here. As you can see, I'm throwing down all my gunners. They're going to be really focused in on that first wave, guys. And we're going to allow for these other guys focusing in on these other areas. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw down all sorts of people over here. I'm hoping this is going to be the first wave. Let's go and start the waves there. Hopefully that pad over there will be our first one that we're going to be running into, but we will find out, won't we? So here comes a couple drones and some foreman here. So what I did is I gave them a whole lot of space here. These snipers should be able to pick off these foremen fairly easily, fairly quick. As you can see, the assassin is viewed here. And as you can see, huge straightaway, perfect vantage point for these machine gunners. It will just allow to kind of tear through all those drones, make it a whole lot easier, and just game over basically it's gonna make life a whole lot easier for us so as you can see wave didn't come the right way i really wanted it to but we're just gonna have to kind of deal with that guys so i'm gonna have to stem up this whole group over here and i'm gonna start setting up kind of a little area over here to kind of help bulk up a little bit extra juice here we got a whole lot of focus in here two kind of pads focusing in on one i'm gonna go ahead and flare them away really quick just got a couple drones here give them some time to warm back up and then we're gonna be focusing in on a whole lot of focus here so let me go ahead and move these guys over here now, these guys over here are going to have to focus on one wave. This pad right here with the Lumberjack, Combat Medic, and Scatter Shot, they're going to have to focus on this wave alone. It's going to be very difficult here. This pad, I'm very confident in. It's going to be able to take off all, all those foremen fairly easy. Now, this is where we're going to have a lot of hectic stuff going on, guys. So, as you can see, we have a very heavily fortified area over here. We're able to kind of, kind of, kind of, I don't really know how to describe it. 
dual fire uh, kind of flanking on both sides makes life a whole lot easier so we finished off that area finished off all the drones on the other end and guys that is an easy perfect match there 375 trophies that is the max amount you can get on a city and that will conclude 394 total so our guards are all wiped out guys i will come back with the finale here with you guys and then we'll finish up this episode guys so stay tuned and we'll be back in just a second all right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and cut the video here. Just going to get a quick voiceover for the last couple minutes here. So, guys, that was pretty much a basic overview for all the levels here. So, once you can go ahead and complete all these levels, you're going to be unlocking the next evolution of the Destructor or Captain Zeta. So, we're going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful in some way, guys. But thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.